when if you stock 20,000 fish we are in a Akbaita integrated farm now you can see how beautiful a farm can be most people don't know that farm can be like a, in fact it's a company my client here decided to make it this way even with a billboard with a signpost with the security fence and security cameras and security lights so let's go inside so you see um how it is all this place here car park all right here car park so let me walk you around so you see what we have inside the Akba Ita integrated uh, farm So this is a very neat farm. Yeah, so entering, entering, entering into this farm, people always say, oh, I don't want to become a farmer. I don't want to become a farmer. Seeing this, wouldn't you want to become a farmer? I'm asking. Of course, I will. Seeing this, wouldn't you want to become a of farmer? Of course, I will. So farming does not mean, a being a farmer does not mean that you'll be dirty. Being a fish farmer does not mean you'll be smelling. So looking at this, uh, this facility, to, be a, to become a fish farmer, you can come in, sir. To become a fish farmer, you, 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 be, you want to have uh, to become a fish farmer. Good afternoon. Yeah, good afternoon, sir. Hello, yeah, so this is a, yeah, this is the brother yeah. to my client. Uh, you are welcome, sir. Thank you can you. tell the people your name again, sir. Uh, my name is uh, Eda Udo Akbaita. Eda Udo Akbaita. All right. Uh, they need my boat here. Uh, yeah, so. This is the man that brings this thing into our own domain. Yeah. Everybody <laughs> in the world will see it. All right. Enjoy it. Yeah. And this is the first in Aquaibo. Yeah, this is the first. There's no other one in yeah. Aquaibo yet. Yeah. So through this gentleman. Yeah, first fish academy. Come in and enjoy it. Yeah. The whole world will come in and enjoy it. All right. God bless them in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Welcome, sir. Thank you. So that is the brother to my client. All right. So, um, uh, as you can see, I was saying, seeing this, it will be you will want to become a fish farmer. The whole of this place is not a living quarter. We have the production house. All right, so okay, so we have uh, the extruder machine right here already in this facility, you know. So we have in here. Don't mind how this door is. We are going to uh, paint the entire of this uh, door, so you can come in. So we we have the extruder machine. All right, this machine made for Fish Academy from China delivered to, by us to this facility so we have the this where production will be taking place is still very large we also have the store so let me take you to where we have uh, the the ashery yeah. Yeah. so we yeah. so we have the admin uh, section yeah we have the admin section which we also constructed so you can come in we are trying to make farming beautiful so that to become a, a farmer you know that you don't need to be dirty so this is the this is going this is uh, the uh, reception area the reception the receptionist will be here to receive visitors that come to pass to the facility to receive people that have business in the facility people that don't have business don't come here it's people that want to do business with Akbaita integrated farms that comes here all right so and then we did not you can come in it's world-class standard we fan most people we do tell people when you are doing something even though that you are not the one that will use it still make it comfortable for your workers there is fan here there are cctv cameras here there is a toilet there is a secretary office here which i guess is, is it's even open all right so this can come in sorry so this is for secretary for record keeping you can see how the the books here all right this is for record keeping and then we also have the office for the boss yeah. so let me take you around and then there is a farm vehicle for the farm all right when you have a, a facility like this you know you need a vehicle for the facility so that when they want to get anything you need to look for a way to ensure you cut cost of production cutting cost of production means you have means of mobility all right either to get your product from anywhere 
and then therefore saving costs. And that is what Akbaita Integrated Farm has done. This someone will say ah, that much half money. You can also do it. As I said, business, there is no, uh, there is no, uh, it, for you to be a business person, you must be ready to do business. All right. So this is a project vehicle. Let me show you the ashtray and the nursery section. Okay. So this, this, uh, the, this is the nursery section. All right. This is the nursery section of this facility. All right meant for uh for fish after we move them from the ashery we move them here into the nursery and then this is the the ashery this is ashery as you can see so production will be done here after production is completed and then they are up to like four weeks here we move them straight into the nursery they share common door. All right, that is how we design it. We have two rooms for the staff. One, one here. So these are the room I don't want to invade, I'm sure so maybe, you know. So my client, Dr. Akba Ita, all right, have made life more comfortable for the people that are living here. Imagine the, the doors we fixed here. We are the ones that constructed it. We did everything here. Both the admin section, the grow out section, the admin section, the, oh, everything in this place, we actually did it. We can also do it for you. One thing that we interest you about this farm is that this farm is a solar powered farm. So the water that comes into this facility is not by is not true gener is not uh, powered by generator, is not by government power, it's just the sun that is shining, all right. And then, so I'm going to show you everything. I be before the end of this video, I'm going to turn on the, the the valve, the tap, so you see the the volume of water that is being supplied through power into any uh, each of these modules. I just want to let you know that each of these module, all right, mm -hmm. will take 5,000 fish each. 5,000 fish. And then we have 11 of it here. 11 of the modules here. All right. Mm -hmm. It's going to take over, it's supposed to be a 50,000 50, capacity fish farm. But during construction and our design, when we got to site, we decided to add Jara for our clients, though it was paid for. All right. So, each of these modules, as I said, can take up to 75,000 liters of water. All right? And then, according to standard, standard, fish, so a 1 kg fish supposed to swim inside a 10 liter water. But to Fish Academy, it's still too small. So, for our own fish, our calculation is... 15 liters for one for a fish of one kg all right so in this facility we've already stocked 20,000 fish though it's supposed to be a 50,000 capacity someone will say why uh -uh. so the person constructed 50,000 fish capacity fish farm and he's talking 20,000 fish now listen all right let me shock you now one thing we usually advise people all right, you may have a full setup like this. All right, the entire dream is to fully stock this facility, and the entire dream is not just to stock the facility; is to able to dispose, is to able to sell out. Understand? Is to able to have fish at all time in the facility. So what I what we discuss, just as I've been saying on my channel, for a fifty thousand capacity fish farm, if you stock twenty thousand fish this month, I'm going to show you the fish that we have here. Okay. All right. We stock fish here a month ago, all right, when they were just very little, eating 0.8 mm size of feed. I'm going to show you the fish so that you see what those fish that we stock a month ago, what they are eating now and the sizes of that fish. So back to what we're saying. We said that when, if you stock 20,000 fish today, uh, this, this month 
and then you grow your 20,000 fish and then stock another set of 20,000 fish the following month. Then in three months later, you stock another 20,000 fish. It therefore means that at my farm, we will, when it's time for harvest, which we are looking to harvesting this fish in three months, every three months of stocking, it therefore means that once this fish is being harvested this month, and another fresh fish being stocked, the following month there will be fish to harvest, and then stocked another twenty thousand, another set of twenty thousand fish. The next three months there will still be another set of twenty thousand fish to harvest, and then stock another set of twenty thousand fish. After harvesting the last, the the following month you still have fish to harvest. So at all time, you have fish in your facility, both gr growing, that is, growing, grow, grow, growing, and grown. I don't know if you know, yeah. yeah. Grow, growing, and grown. Mm. You understand? So that is the idea. All right. So we actually set up this facility and it is a world-class standard. I've always told you guys, when it comes to fish pond construction, we make younger about it. It is our thing. When it comes to fish farm construction, a modern fish farm project give it to us. All right, we've been doing our best. We've delivered this type of project different places in Nigeria and outside Nigeria. All are verifiable. You can verify them on our channel. We've done two projects in Ghana. We've done over eleven projects in Nigeria. We've done projects in the eastern part of Nigeria, which is here we have a numerous. We have done projects in the south 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 region of Nigeria. We've, we are looking forward to doing projects in the northern part of Nigeria. We are looking forward to doing projects in the uh, southwest region of Nigeria. All right. We are also working with international community. All right. To see to see how we can train. And the Fish Academy, we've been able to train a lot of youth core members. We've been able to elevate poverty. Poverty elevation. We've been able to come, I mean, talking about human capital development. We've done a lot of that. We've trained a lot of people. We've sent people out. This facility, right? The person managing this facility is from First Fish Academy. He's the manager of this place. He was himself. All right? <laughs> He's the manager. The person that we sent to this place is from First Fish Academy. You know what it is for you to say, I came from Fish Academy. All right? And then talking about the fish industry. Then you are real, you, 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 you know that you, they will have to hold you, you know, very, very tight. So this facility is under the management of First Fish Academy because we have our, one of our strong staff that we sent to manage this place. All right, so I told you guys earlier that I'm going to show you, the first thing I told you I will show you is the water that is being powered by solar. The volume of water, all right, that is being supplied to each of this model. All right, so let's move direct so that you see the volume of water. Right, so I want to turn on. If you can do that yourself, okay. you can do that yourself. Downward, downward. So you can bring, you can come closer. So this is solar, solar powered. Can you see the volume of water? I'm also going to show you the number of panel that we have. All right, so that you need to, you know, when you are talking about, you know, when you want to do business, business itself is expensive. Do you hear what I'm saying? You study the economics. Yeah. Business is not cheap. Okay. Business is not, it's expensive. If to do business, you must be prepared. You must, take, be ready to take risk. you must be ready to take risks and you must be prepared to invest. Okay. That's why they are talking, when you are talking about business, you are talking about investment. So my client here actually invest have invested. A lot of people say, "Oh, Francis, but I don't base in Nigeria." None of my clients, none, nobody that I have set up for, 
with over 15 farms that we've set up, ultra modern fish farm that we set up, all of them they base overseas. So you don't need to be in Nigeria or you don't need to be in Ghana, you don't need to be in, you, did, you don't need to station in your country for us to come and work for you. We go everywhere. All right. So this is it. And I tell you, the fish, oh my god, they are very smart. Oh, I told you I'm going to show you um those things. We have their feeding points. All right. You know, I told you guys when you want to feed fish, especially when the fish are still very little. All right, you don't just sprinkle fish. I mean, you don't just sprinkle the feed everywhere, few, 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 few for fish to be eaten. No, there must be a feeding point. And then we have a feeding point for this fish. But as I speak with you, the fish are here with me. Oh, they are here, they have gathered here. You know, they know their master. All right. Then when they hear my voice, they say, My sheep, they they know me and I know them. So when they hear my voice, wherever if I'm if I go close to a river, fish they always come closer. Because they know that their master is around. Somebody say master. Master. <laughs> so let's move straight to their feeding point so that we feed them at their feeding point. So that you don't feed them here today. When they hear your, your footstep, they will come and gather here. No, when they hear your footstep, they know where to meet you. So let's go where uh, they have been meeting us. Okay. All right. So we want to feed the fish now and then you're going to see the sizes of the fish as I said earlier. This is a sorting. Hold, hold this. Hold it okay. from the other way. Hold this, carry it up. This is a sorting tray. Carry it up like this. This is a sorting tray. All right. We did this here. So this is where a lot of say, ah, so how do you count 20,000 fish? How do you count 50,000 fish? We count everything here. So this is where we, uh, we do our counting on top okay. of this board. So this is your feeding point. Um, oh, um, Chinyere, Mekang, Okonkwa, Ngozi, Kufre, Blessing. All of you be coming. All right, they have their name more. So they have they have they have eaten already. All right. So this is it. Okay. They are all eating two mm size of feet. They are doing very very well. All right. They are doing nice. very very well. So how many times in a day do I feed this fish? Okay, we uh, if you feed your fish three times in a day but if you feed them very well in the morning you can okay. skip afternoon all right and then you feed them again in the evening all right so, this is it. let me take you to where we have the the powerhouse the solar okay. powerhouse all right so this is where the entire switching is done okay okay this entire we have four battery for this farm all right just four battery and then the number of panel that you are as you have seen those are the panel up there all right and then this way switch are done you can also see a generator this is a standby no matter what you need to have what a standby in case <laughs> rain falls maybe like the seven maybe. days rain this place it is called a demidimo boat in insurubium local government just look at the sky it is changing rain used to fall here like in fact rain is one of the stuff that delayed our construction in this place rain fall here almost every day day and night evening midnight day rain is falling here i don't even know if this is the root of rain worldwide so that is one thing that delayed so it's always raining here so there's a need for generator but imagine that you're in the north where rain don't used to fall like this place then you know that you might not even want to need a, a generator all right thank you so much guys for watching and if you're interested in us setting up a farm for you please contact us via the number on your screen please like and share this video and if you are new to this channel please hit the subscribe button see you in our next video thank you